In this video, we will be discussing an example for a non-uniform oscillator which is an over-damped pendulum. Okay. So, uh, this is a pendulum okay, which has a, a simple pendulum but in this simple pendulum, this whole thing has been immersed in a highly viscous fluid. Okay. And the gravity is acting in this direction. In addition to that, we are applying a torque which is a constant torque. Okay. That torque has been represented by capital gamma. Now, um, once we draw the free body diagram and if we apply the Newton's law, we will get this equation. Okay, where this is the inertial term and this is the viscous term and this is the term um, which is a torque at this point due to this weight okay, and this is the torque. Okay, now, um, since it is a, a, a over damped system, we can ignore the um, second order terms and if we ignore the second order terms, we will get this form okay and in this form uh, what we are going to do is we are going to take this uh, term and put it that side and then divide this whole thing by b okay this b and if we do that what we will get is theta dot which is equal to gamma by b minus mgl by b into sin theta right so maybe i will try to write it so what do i get is theta dot is equal to gamma by b minus mgl by b sin theta okay and we can assume that this term is omega and this is a and if we assume it like that, then uh, we will observe a complete oscillation when this um, omega is greater than a. So, which means this gamma is greater than mgl. Okay. So, when gamma is greater than mgl, then I will have a complete rotation of the pendulum. So, let us see what does that mean. So, if we see here, so what is this MGL? MGL is the maximum torque okay, exerted due to the weight at this point, right? And if that torque is less than this gamma, which is the applied torque, then this torque can overcome this weight and it can have a complete rotation. So, it will show an oscillate, oscillatory behavior and if gamma is less than that torque, okay, less than this MGL, it will not be able to reach MGL, sorry, it will not be able to reach this particular configuration. So, somewhere it will stop where this gamma will balance this. Uh, load due to this mass which is mgl sin theta right so that's a, a fixed point okay and there will be one more fixed point right we have seen that there are two fixed points so there will be one more fixed point so um, otherwise if this is more compared to mgl then we will have an oscillatory behavior and in that oscillatory behavior if you see um, when it reaches this position uh, while crossing this region it will be very slow 
compared to any other region particularly here it will move very fast because the torque uh, of the system to rotate is very small because it, that's gamma minus mgl in this region but here in addition to that applied torque this mgl will also help to rotate further okay and because of that when the pendulum is um, having a complete rotation then here it will be very slow and here it will be very fast okay so that's one uh, physical example and in this book uh, they have discussed uh, two more examples and uh, one is an example on fireflies okay and uh, another example is on an electrical engineering uh, sorry yeah okay so uh, which is uh, on uh, superconducting um, joseph shen junction and uh, i'll let you guys to read these two um, sections as a, a reading exercise and i will share uh, one of the video uh, by steven strogatz regarding the fireflies okay so with that uh, we have completed this chapter chapter number 4 thank you